This is Daniel Piper, Curator for Latin America at the Musical Instrument Museum. We're excited to bring you some contact directly from our galleries to your home. Music is a basic human need, and we've created a lot of wonderful stories here. Each instrument here is, is rich, full of background, and I can share with you some of my times. Uh, this is a country, Guatemala, which early on in my career at MIM, uh, I got to go there and uh, travel uh, into these you know, rural Mayan villages and collecting instruments, creating video and photography to kind of create a portrait, a musical portrait of this country. Uh, so of course, everyone is familiar with the marimba. Uh, of course, it's not just the marimba because there's a lot of different types of marimbas. And uh, so here we have this marimba doble. In fact, um, normally this is actually one half of a marimba doble because there would be two instruments, slightly different size, and you'd have seven people between the two. So this, this one half of it would be played by three and then you'd have another one a little bit larger uh, with four other guys playing. Uh, but it has uh, kind of a piano key lay layout, right? You can think if you know the piano, that here are the white keys of the piano and here are the black keys. Um, and so it's of course playing it for those of you that are into kind of music and scales, you know, you can play the, the 12 tones, you know, and you can play diatonic major and minor scales as well as all kinds of other, uh, as they call chromatic music and all kinds of stuff. So I want to show you another marimba, a different type of marimba, still sometimes played in villages in Guatemala. This is the marimba de tecomates. So the marimba de tecomates has uh, these wonderful gourd resonators at the bottom there. Uh, and then, you know, on the gourd resonators, you see this, these little holes there and they have a membrane across each one. It's a pig intestine membrane. Uh, and that creates this wonderful buzzing sound. When you hit the keys, you also not only get the sound of the you know, wooden slats, uh, slat keys there, but you also get this buzzing sound coming from that pig intestine membrane. Um, but it, this is more like the instrument that the Africans would have brought in the earlier colonial period, right? Um, and that instrument was adopted by Mayans very early, way before the Hispanics really cared about the instrument at all. So for a couple hundred years, you had uh, Mayans in Guatemala and other parts of Central America making and playing this African descendant instrument, right? And then all of a sudden in the 20th century, the uh, sort of, you know, the, the elites and the mestizos, the people that are of, uh, either all of, of Hispanic or partially Hispanic descent started to take more interest in the instrument and then develop, develop it, right? Uh, so within this, of course, you know, they're not just playing marimbas in, uh, you know, Maya music involves a lot of different instruments. Um, one of my trips, uh, I went to a town uh, called Rabinal, right? And uh, they have a festival there. They just call it Rabinal Achi because the Achi are, is the, the Maya, the dialect or the ethnic group of Maya people, right? Um, so they have a, this dance drama. You can see a little bit in some of the photos here. Here is a photo of one of the uh, dance drama characters, right? And then over here on the other side, you have some musicians that are playing these uh, natural horn uh, trumpets here, and then they're playing a slit drum. We have some examples of this in the exhibit. This slit drum here is from the 19th century. And, uh, you know, the Maya people have had slit drums uh, even, you know, before the Spanish arrived, right? So this is a pre-Columbian type instrument, although this one's from the 19th century. And then they say that they, uh, you know, originally had these gourd trumpets. Uh, we're not really quite sure exactly what materials the trumpets were made of and when, but we do know that closer to, you know, the end of the 19th century into the 20th century, they started using these European horns, kind of like these, this coach horn and cavalry trumpet that we have up here, okay? So uh, anyway, this festival, uh, just to kind of give you an idea, it's amazing, okay? It's a festival that combines marimbas, music for marimba, music uh, for this dance drama with the uh, slit drum and the, the horns. Also, there's music played with small little flutes and then large drums like this that they carry in procession, like 12 uh, different groups carrying these large drums on their backs and uh, each one accompanied by a flute player. 
And uh, this, this drum and flute ensemble, then at the very back of it has, uh, is part of a religious procession and has a giant effigy of the, the Catholic saint, which inevitably has some kind of syncretism with you know, some Maya uh, deity or spirituality as well. Um, so I wanna, if you get a chance, uh, we're gonna insert you know, a little bit of a video here um, in which you're gonna see a procession going from the, the church in the center of town to the brotherhood, the Maya brotherhood um, that's associated with this festival and Rab Rabbi Nalachi. So enjoy the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed some of our content from the Musical Instrument Museum. Have a great day, everybody.